you can go on nice long walks. Thank you so much, Alicia. Time now for a call for action. If you're planning to buy homeowners or renters insurance, listen up. Before you pay a premium and assume that you're covered, there's a few things you may want to do to make sure you're getting the best coverage possible. Karen Stiles of our call for action office has more for you. When you buy a home or move into an apartment, it is a good idea to have homeowners or renters insurance. But how do you know what type of coverage to buy, what will be covered or not covered, and what to do if you have a loss? Many people rely on an insurance agent to assist them with this process. But here are a few things that you may want to do first to be sure that you are asking the right questions and getting the best coverage to meet your needs. Before you purchase coverage, do some research on the types of coverage and how things are covered or not covered. One of the best places to start is by checking out the Consumer's Guide to Homeowners Insurance, a free guide that is available online through the Wisconsin Office of the Commissioner of Insurance. This guide does a great job of explaining different types of policies, how things are covered or not covered, and it can help you think of questions to ask during the buying process. We have a link for this guide in the Call for Action section of TMJ4.com. It might also be helpful to shop around with more than one insurance company and read over a sample policy. In addition to finding differences in price, you might also notice different coverage limits or added benefits. If it has been a while since you reviewed your existing coverage, now might be a good time to check things out. Do not wait until something goes wrong to learn that you are not adequately covered. I'm Karen Stiles with Call for Action. Now back to you. Karen, thank you. If you have a question for Karen, call the number on your screen or fill out the form online. At 5